Hello, and welcome to the Phantom 4 RTK Tutorials. In this video, we'll teach you how to conduct a photogrammetry or mapping mission. Before you get started, make sure you are connected to the DRTK2 mobile station or a network RTK service. Select Plan on the lower left of the screen, then Photogrammetry. This will let you begin planning your mission. You will directly enter a map screen. With the blue dot representing the remote controller, move around or zoom in or out of the map screen to find the area you want to map. Then tap the map to set the first waypoint. You can tap a new area to create another waypoint or click and drag an existing point to move it. Double tapping on a waypoint will remove it. Once four waypoints are set up, they will automatically connect and form a photogrammetry flight path. You can manipulate each of the waypoints to change the flight path shape and area. After you have determined the mapping area, you can use the menu on the right side of the screen to adjust mission parameters. This includes flight altitude, speed, and more. As you adjust the height, the app will dynamically calculate your mission's GSD. Click on Advanced Settings to adjust the overlap ratio, both horizontal and vertical, or the margin to suit your needs. Save your advanced settings and then enter the camera settings where you can adjust your photo's aspect ratio, white balance, and more. For the gimbal angle settings, negative 90 degrees is the default and will let you create ortho images. Additionally, to ensure your map has optimized precision, we suggest you disable distortion correction. Save your camera settings and make sure all other settings are set correctly. After that, Hit Save and name your mission. Once you are ready to start your mission, tap Invoke. Read through the notifications carefully, then hit OK. Once you slide to execute, your Phantom 4 RTK will begin its mission. During flight, make sure the flat side of the antennas are always facing the aircraft for optimum connectivity. In situations where the battery is close to completion before the mission is completed, you can manually end the mission. After landing, replacing the battery and powering back up, you can resume from exactly where you left off. Once the mission is completed, the Phantom 4 RTK will automatically return to its stored home point by default. You can also adjust the settings to make the Phantom 4 RTK hover, land, or return to the first waypoint after the mission is complete. You can begin another mission right after landing or start building your model by taking the drone's onboard SD card and moving them to a PC where they can be processed locally or uploaded into third-party photogrammetry software. The map built with your drone data is just the start. Once the mission has been invoked, you can find it anytime in the main settings menu and repeat the mission for comparable weekly or monthly drone maps. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Phantom 4 RTK tutorials.